Mark here, Life and Fitness Files, with some more sleep tips, specifically nighttime routines. I have a video focusing on early morning sunlight and the effects on sleep. Here, on the opposite end, I'm going to be giving you some practical tips on how to keep lights dim in the evening as dimming lights and lowering that blue wavelength light from hitting your eyes can help you to fall asleep and improve the quality of sleep. Afternoon or evening sun and sunset has different wavelengths, specifically lacking blue wavelengths. This preps our brain and our body to wind down and get ready for sleeping. It may even buffer our eyes from blue wave light from screens that we might see in the evening. As the sun goes down and we see that light going down triggers our brain towards sleep, we also want to dim the lights inside so that it also has the same effect. You can use red light bulbs to eliminate blue wave lights. Amber lights also decrease the amount of blue light hitting our eyes. I sometimes use Christmas lights to illuminate a room, eliminate some of the blue light. I also do use a red light bulb to make sure that I can still see, but the blue light isn't there. I have a reading light that also has a more amber light function to help me to be able to read and still do some of the activities that I wanna do. If you have a screen function for night or eye saver or something of that sort, you can turn that on so that your screen has more of that amber color. This is gonna help your eyes to be shielded from those blue wavelengths. If you're struggling with getting to sleep or you know you have something coming up the next day you have to get to sleep for, avoiding screens altogether is probably going to be your best bet. The body starts producing melatonin in the evening to bring on sleep. Blue wavelengths disrupt the production of melatonin and can mess up our circadian rhythm. This is why it's important to dim the lights and eliminate that blue wavelength. I do have blue blocker glasses that I put on around dinner time most nights. You can check out zenny.com and get some pretty inexpensive blue blockers. They do not have that old school amber look for those night glasses, but they do eliminate the blue waves. You can get them with prescription and I believe without prescription for pretty cheap if you leave off all of the add-ons. So something you might wanna check out. If you wake up in the night, it's common to do, you want to avoid looking at screens and avoid turning on the light if at all possible. Obviously, you don't want to injure yourself trying to get up to go pee. You can use a dim night light to help avoid injury, but be able to avoid those bright lights. Putting the night light as low as possible in the room is best because the higher a light is, it mimics the sun and triggers alertness. So we want to keep it dim and low if at all possible. I actually wear my watch to bed. So if I wake up, sometimes I'll click on the light so I can see almost as a movable nightlight, but I don't look at the watch face so that again, it doesn't trigger alertness in my brain. Additionally, candlelight or firelight does not impact melatonin release or mess up our circadian clock. So if you wanna throw back to the Little House on the Prairie days, that can work. Occasionally I do that. I also have blackout shades on the windows to block light. At night, obviously that's not an issue, but in the summer when the sun rises at like five o'clock and I don't want it to come in that early and I'm not waking up at five, it comes in handy. You wanna keep the room as dark as possible when you sleep. Even a small amount of light during sleep can disrupt your sleep cycles. Obviously, we all live busy lives and sometimes turning off all the lights or even dimming them is not feasible and especially not every night. However, if this is something that is a priority for you, there might be one or two things that you can do to make it better. 
Maybe it's just popping on blue blocker glasses, or maybe it's turning the lights down a little bit sooner than right before bed. After you see some success, or really internalize the importance, it makes it a lot easier to add an additional routine or layer to the nighttime protocol to prioritize sleep. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with future content of sleep tips or other fitness health ideas. Here's to life and fitness.